Hey guys. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you really quick on how to install my bike grip uh, e-brake handle onto uh, the e-brake. So first you have to take off the cover and that's a pain in the ass as it is but uh, I found the best way is to use a hairdryer and heat up the glue inside and then you just got a reef on the thing to uh, get it out. Um, when you take off the button it's just simple unscrew it if it's a pain in the butt like the handle you're gonna have to turn around wrap it in some tape and then uh, use some vice grips to turn around and, and undo it. So inside you have a spring which you want to keep in there and it just goes in there so you don't need to remove it for the installation but just so that you do know that it's there okay now when you get your package from me you will get an e-brake button you will get your bike grip and in the bike grip there is a collar and this collar is made so that when you slide it over it keeps everything nice and tight okay. and on the bike grip on the back one there's a set screw so what that set screw is is that that'll tighten it to the handle on this little sleeve there is a notch that I notched out there for that little set screw to go down in Okay, so first thing you want to do is you take your bike grip and you take the collar and you're going to put them together. All right, so you're going to want to line up the set screw with the sleeve so that it'll be able to go down. So if you see here, when I tighten this, you can see that it goes in there right so this needs to be loosened now you will notice that the collar doesn't come all the way up as you can see there that is because the e-brake button turns around and it'll sit in there just like that now if I were to turn around and make it so that that was all the way up right the e-brake button would have to slide into the metal and metal onto painted surface you could turn around and get things scratched up pretty pretty easily even though it is powder coated it is pretty easy so what I do is is I make it so that it doesn't come all the way up so when the button goes in and tightens it'll turn around and slide in and out and it won't hit that until well that's as far as it could go right so it gives it enough room for it to press in without sliding on that type of metal so these are anodized um, they're a little bit more protective than per se that metal sleeve but still once you screw this on it is the best way to come up with it for now maybe in the future I'll be able to figure something else out but I leave enough space you know there's about two or three mils of space there so give or take it'll turn around and that's the best way so all you all you have to do is you take your handle and you slide it on to slide the bike grip handle onto the e-brake right now you want to keep everything nice and lined up on here it says ODI and it says Vans I'm pretty picky when it comes to that so I make sure that everything is nicely set up and then you just turn around and tighten that set screw before you tighten it make sure that that metal sleeve is all the way to the back and then just as simple as tightening the set screw. All right. 
So there you go. Space is there. It's all set up. The ODI and the vans line up nicely so that when you're looking at it, sitting in the car, it looks good. All right. Now the hard part is putting the button into there. So this takes some finesse. And all you have to do is really just get the rod in there to line up. And once you get it to line up, like I have, I just turn around and I press it all the way. And make sure you press the brake if you're in your car and you're dicking around with this. But it's easier just to press it in and then just screw gently the e-brake button all the way on. And it'll stop eventually. And there we go. Okay. So when it's installed, you know, there's not that much wiggle room in there, but it's still it's still functioning. So then it's just just like that. Just like your regular one. Makes all those fancy noises going up and down. And that's it. So yeah. That's the bike grip e-brake handle. And like I said, it's pretty tight. And yeah, the less you dick around with unscrewing this and screwing it back on, unscrewing and screwing back on, the better. Um, but that uh, that works out perfectly. So if you have any questions, comment below. Email me at carguysgarage at gmail.com. And I'll help you get set up if you have any questions. All right. Later.